last video we have seen the sentences and types of sentences now today we are going to see the parts of speech so ready to learn let's go
is a girl. Sima is playing with her friend. Sima likes football. Then the word Sima has come repeatedly in this. So, repeating that word again and again, we can replace the second and third Sima with a pronoun like she. Now, what will be the sentence? Sima is a girl. She is playing with her friends. She likes football. The word she is pronoun and it performs the role of the word Sima that is a noun. So, these are pronouns like she, he, they, I, you, it, etc. These are the examples of pronoun. Now, coming to the third part of speech that is adjective. Adjective. How to define an adjective? Adjectives are the describing words. We can call them describing words as adjective describes the noun in the sentence. The qualities of the noun in the sentence. For example, the flower is beautiful. Beautiful is the quality of that flower. So, the word describes the flower, then beautiful is the adjective in that sentence. So, we can define adjective as the describing word. Which describe the noun in the sentence. Examples are big, small, tall, short, long, healthy, thin, thick, beautiful, ugly, clean, dirty. All these words are the describing words. So they are the adjectives. Big, small, clean. Dirty, healthy, etc. So these are the adjectives. The fourth part of speech is a verb. So what is a verb? The verb as I told you in our previous video is the most important part of a sentence. We actually call it the heart of a sentence because without verb the meaning of the sentence cannot be completed. So, verbs are very important in any sentence. How can we define a verb? A verb is such a word that describes the action in the sentence. Or it describes the state of that noun in that sentence. So, uh, all the actions are verbs. So, let's define this word. A verb is a word that describes an action or a state of the noun in a sentence. For example, play, run, write, sing, eats, walk, wear, etc. These are the examples of words. So, friends, the fifth part of speech is Adverb. What is an adverb? Just like adjectives describe the noun in the sentence, adverbs describe the verb in the sentence. Adverbs are the words that 
that describe the word in the sentence for example a deer run fast she sings sweetly are adverbs in the sentence fast slow sweetly smoothly are the adverbs next is prepositions prepositions are such words which are joined with the nouns which come next to noun in the sentence and which gives us information about the noun just like the bird is sitting on the branch then the river flows down the bridge the words on down are the prepositions in the sentences Interjections are actually the expressive words. 
which can express our feelings or the overflow of our, our feelings. We can define interjection as interjections are the expression words which expresses the sudden emotions or the overflow of our emotions. Examples of interjection are Wow! Alas! Oh! Ouch! All these words are the interjection. So, friends, in our today's session, we have seen the eight main parts of speech. That is, a noun, pronoun, adjectives, verbs, adverbs, prepositions, conjunctions and interjections. In our next video, we will see each of them in detail. Till then, stay tuned with us and if you haven't subscribed scholarly yet, then please subscribe it now. Scholarly enhance the learning.